Hello and welcome to another Elite Squad Soldier Review video. This is number 2 in the series and last week we reviewed Doc. In this video we're going to review Sam Fisher and then next week I'll be looking to review a soldier that has been requested in the comments so keep your eyes peeled. In these review videos we take a good look at the soldier and the bio and we go through everything and then show you how they can be obtained before showing you some good gameplay with them. I also give you some thoughts on them and what I like. Please hit the like button to support this video and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more Elite Squad content from me. So here is Sam Fisher and I have to say right away that he is one of the most powerful soldiers I have used in the game and we'll have a look at why in a few moments but first Sam Fisher is a part of the 4th Echelon faction he is a striker and comes with the composed trait. When you unlock Sam Fisher you'll get him already at rank 5 so we all have most of his abilities unlocked. At rank 6, pairing Sam Fisher with a resourceful ally will increase his ability damage by 5%. Let's now have a look at his biography. As I already stated, Sam Fisher is a part of the 4th Echelon faction and he is a male American and is 53 years old. His height comes in at 1.78 meters and he weighs 77 kilograms. Sam Fisher is the original member of the Splinter Cell program. Sam was recruited by Colonel Irving Lambert to become a new kind of spy for the Age of Information Warfare. Recruited by US President to head new counterintelligence agency 4th Echelon, Sam is a lone wolf who finds himself in charge of a pack. Having faced and defeated several members of Umbra before, Sam is willing and eager to take them on again. And here is Sam Fisher's abilities, the main one being his active ability Mark and Execute. With this, Sam marks the enemy with the lowest health and fires a targeted shot. If the enemy is below 25% health, the shot will execute them, otherwise it will deal 80% ability damage to them. This repeats itself until all four shots have been fired and Sam will move on to the next target if one dies. Sam Fisher's passive ability is Silent Killer and with this Sam will enter stealth when he reaches 30% health before increasing his ability power by 100% and then automatically casting his mark and execute ability. And no lie, I have had instances where Sam has processed his Silent Killer ability at 30% health, been healed by Doc and then casted again at 30% health. These abilities are so OP that it is hard to leave Sam Fisher out of my squad ever and you gotta give him a try if you haven't. He adds a great mix of the squad with DPS and survivability. Once you get Sam to rank 8 you'll also unlock his leader ability called counterintelligence where any soldiers in the squad using an LMG or AR will benefit from an additional 10% weapon damage. And Sam's stats look like this, I'm sure these numbers scale with level increase and his weapon power is currently at 3639 and this is at level 43. His ability power is also good at 2852 and just look at the health he gets as well at 10242. Sam's ability will charge every 30 seconds and he has 20% chance to ignore any enemy resistance and 5% chance of resisting control effects on himself. And before we move on to the gameplay, we'll have a quick look at his weapons. Sam Fisher uses an assault rifle and we'll start with a common SG-552. You'll then be able to upgrade this to a rare ARC and then to an epic G36. And then once you have grinded enough to unlock the legendary weapon, you can equip Sam Fisher with the legendary SC-20K. Sam Fisher is a free agent to get on Elite Squad and all that is required is a grind. He is worth 600 Platinum Prestige in the Prestige menu of the Vendor if I remember right so all you have to do is save all of your Platinum Prestige until you can get him. Platinum Prestige can be earned mainly from the Arena Rewards every week and some events but it will be a very long grind. The best way to get Platinum Prestige is to purchase bundles for real money as many of these have a good amount of Platinum Prestige in them. And we are now going to end this with some gameplay to showcase Sam Fisher and make sure to get both of his abilities into a clip and we are playing an arena squad with a far greater skill level than us. Remember to hit like on this video to support it and be sure to subscribe for more Elite Squad videos. I am hoping my next soldier review video will be out next week but until then thank you all so much for watching this one. Enjoy the gameplay and until next time, peace out. Excellent. I'm back on track. Combat.
Excellent. Combat aid. I'm back, I'm back on track. Excellent. That must hurt. 